In this tutorial, we will talk about Full Screen API. Full Screen API lets you display the entire document or a particular element in a full screen mode. So, to learn the Full Screen API, we are going to write a simple web page with HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. And you can use the same concept in any of your front end projects like Angular, React, etc. I am using a simple web page because I want to keep it simple just for the learning. So I have created a simple web page here. It has a video element and three different buttons and I have added some basic styling here. So let's see how this web page looks. So I'm going to copy and paste this into a browser and this is how it looks and right now the buttons won't work because we have not written the logic so basically when the user clicks on this button we want to display this video in a full screen mode if the user clicks on this button we want to display the entire html in a full screen mode and when you click this we want to exit the full screen mode so let's write the javascript code i will go back to my editor and I am going to create script tag here and let's create three different functions. So this function would be on click enter full screen mode for video and I will copy and paste this to these three buttons here we want to display the entire web page in a full screen mode so I'm just going to write enter full screen mode and for this button we want to exit the full screen mode so on click is exit full screen mode and let's create the functions here three different functions function enter full screen mode function enter full screen mode and then the third function to exit the full screen mode so exit full screen mode let's save this and let's write the logic for enter full screen mode for a video so the first thing is I am going to grab the video element and we can do this by document get element by ID and then the ID of the element and here the ID is my video so I'm just going to use my video so we have got the element here in case of full screen mode we want to display the entire HTML so we can do here is where let's use let in fact let's just use const because we don't need to reassign this variable so document element is equal to document dot document element so this means we want to display the entire document so the first step is if document dot full screen element enabled so this means that if the full screen is supported on your document then only go into this if method but here I will negate this option so this line means that 
if the full screen mode is not supported then display alert full screen mode is not supported and just return if the full screen mode is supported then we want to check whether the video element supports the full screen or not so i'm going to write if video element dot request full screen and this means that if we can request the full screen on a video element and if we can then it will go inside this if statement so this line means that if we can request a full screen for the video element and if it is then i'm going to write video element dot request full screen and this would return me a promise so the request full screen would return give a promise and i can invoke then method here so this means that once we are in the full screen mode i want to display a log message to the console that we are in a full screen mode so this means that we are in a full screen mode and we need to use the same logic here like i can do copy and paste and do the same stuff here and replace it by document element so I can do the same stuff here so if you see here that we are duplicating these lines of code so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write another function launch full screen mode and this will accept the element that we want to display in a full screen mode and I can write the same stuff here and I can use the same element here and I can get rid of these so that we are not duplicating lines of code in our project. So I have removed these two and since we are passing the argument here, I'm going to pass the argument here. So here I'm going to pass document dot get element by ID my video. Okay, this needs to be lowercase. So my video and here I'm going to pass document dot document element so here we can use the same function to do display any element in a full screen mode so now we have written the function here let's write the code to exit the full screen mode so I am going to write document dot exit full screen and this would return me a promise so this would return me a promise and I can use then here
and let's display a message in the console that we have exited the full screen mode. Let's properly indentate this. So these are my functions and let's write one more if statement here. So if the document supports exiting full screen, then only we are going to invoke this. So I am going to write this and then I am going to write some documentation here that exit the full screen mode. It is always a good idea to write some documentation so that you have some reference. Enter the full screen mode. So we have created two functions here and this should work fine. Let's write one more logic here. So we want to also track the full screen events here, whether we go into full screen mode or whether we exit into full screen mode, there is a way to handle this. So track full screen change events. So I'm going to write document dot on full screen change is equal to function event and I'm passing the event in case you want to use it you can pass the event here and document dot full screen element would give you the element that we are showing in the full screen mode so if we are not showing any element in a full screen mode we would get null or undefined so I am going to write if document dot full screen element console dot log showing full screen element. Let's capture this in a const. So I'm going to use const element is full screen element and if we have the element then we want to display the element else means that we are exiting the full screen mode so I'm going to write exit full screen event occurred to make it consistent let's just copy and paste this and type enter full screen event occurred now that we have written the basic functionality let's test this out before we test this, I am going to copy and paste the video to my workspace here. And let's go to a web page and let's reload this. Let's play the video. So I'm going to click on this button and it is now displaying the video in a full screen mode. I will reduce the volume. So we are displaying the video in a full screen mode. If I click escape, it will exit the full screen mode. Let's click on this button and it is displaying the entire web page in a full screen mode. And if I click on this exit button, it will exit the full screen mode. We can also add some styling when we go into a full screen mode. 
So let's see how we can do this. So I'm going to write full screen and body. And this would mean that I want to apply this style to the body element if we go into a, a full screen mode. So let's say I want to change the background color to dark gray. And let's add one more style here. So here I want to display all these button with the background color of, let's make it yellow and let's do font weight bolder. So this means that when we go into a full screen mode, we would apply these styling, this style to the body element and these CSS to the button element. So let's go back here. I'm going to reload this. And when we are in the full screen mode, we can see here that the body is now in dark gray color and the buttons have the background color of yellow and they are in bold style. So I will exit this and I can see here that the CSS that we applied for the full screen mode is now removed. Now let's see our console.log statements. So I'm going to open the developer tools and open the console. Now when we go into the full screen mode, we can see here that we are in full screen mode this gets printed once the promise is settled and this gets printed as part of our full screen change event. So here we can see that the full screen change event has occurred and this is the element that we are displaying in the full screen. Now when we exit full screen, let's clear this console and click this button and we can see here that we get two messages here. We have exited the full screen mode. This gets printed once the promise is settled. The exit full screen promise is settled. And as you can see here that exit full screen change event has occurred and the value of full screen element is null. So this is all I wanted to show with the help of this exercise. Let's summarize what we have discussed here. So we have seen here how we can go into a full screen mode, how we can exit the full screen mode, how we can track the events of full screen change, how we can apply some styling when we go into a full screen mode and some basic conditions like whether the whether we can request full screen on a particular element whether the full screen mode is enabled on a particular document and which element is being shown in the full screen i hope that you find this tutorial helpful and you can now use full screen API in any of your front end projects, whether it's Angular or React or just plain HTML and JavaScript. I will share some links in the description and you can go through them. And I will also share the link to my GitHub project so that you can get a reference to this HTML page and all the HTML pages that we are building as part of the series. And uh, we will learn a new API in the next video in this JavaScript web API tutorial series.